All right, I was sent this product uh, in exchange for my honest review. This is a combination uh, jump starter, like for a battery jump starter, and also an air compressor, like for tire inflation. So it's, it's both in one unit. And I'll have links in the video description on how to purchase this item, as well as any discount codes that are available. So make sure to check out the links in the video description and you'll be able to find out current pricing as well as, like I say, any discount code. So right off the bat, it's in a nice package. I've never seen any jump starters or air inflators. It really came with a super nice carry bag. Um, a lot of times you have to buy those separately. So this comes just like this. This is how I took it out of the box. There's nothing else in the box. It's a uh, got a little handle and a zipper on it. Unzip that. Okay, so in this little carry pouch right here, you have your positive and negative connections for the battery jump starter, as well as some adapters for the air inflator. So you can do, you know, car tires, bicycle tires, sports balls things of that nature, uh, tubes, like air mattresses, different things like that. This charge cord comes with it. This is a USB-A, USB-C, so that you can uh, charge the unit with that. And then it also has this cord in there, which you would put on there to do, uh, this is good for both bicycle tires and uh, car tires. So you can just put this on the um, where you put the air in and then lock it in with that. Take that off to remove it. Comes with a set of instructions. Comes with a nice little separator, padded separator in between the stuff that's in this compartment and what's below it. So below it we find the main unit itself and that'll be everything. That's everything in the package. Very impressed with the case and the packaging. So this I would, you know, discard after opening. And then it's got this protective cover over the readout to keep it from scratching during shipment. So you can take that off. So then you're left with the main unit right here. So just looking over this real quick. Uh, Things that I see, there's a little tab here that says engine start. Okay, it's got, covers a couple of ports right there. It's just like a rubberized thing. So I think, yeah, if we look on this, that's gonna be where these plug in. So you can tell it's got that kind of plug. So if you're using it as a jump starter, you would pull that down. And then these are where this has a flat side and this is round, so it can only go in one way. It's made to go in this way. So it's just gonna plug in like that if you're gonna use this as a jump starter. So that's how that works. And then you put this in to protect those, those ports. And then up here at the top, you got an LED light. You have uh, output one and output two USB A's, and you have a port for the tire inflator or the air inflator. So what you're going to want to do for the air inflator is thread this in right here. So you would just put that in there, and then thread that in there like this. And then you would either, like for my usage, if I'm using this for automotive or bike tires, I would just use it just like this. But if you had, like I say, an air mattress, a basketball, um, any other kind of beach ball, anything like that, you would take any of these three adapters and you would put them in here like for a basketball or something or a football, sports ball, 
you put that in like that and then you would lock this down like that and then you would use it that way these are going to be similar or you could lock them in just like that so on the ports the way this is going to work you're going to charge this from a wall unit plug in the usb a into the wall unit and plug in your USB-C into here where it says input. That's gonna get this unit charged. The other two are output one and output two, meaning that you can use this to charge things like your cell phone. If you're traveling and your cell phone goes dead, you could plug your cell phone uh, USB-A into there, the other end into your cell phone, and use this to charge things like your phone. So um, your input means you're charging this, your output means you're using the charge that's already contained in this unit to charge something else. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna see if it'll turn on, uh, just kind of find out how it was shipped, if, it, if the battery is full or dead or somewhere in between. Let's find out how to turn it on. So right here, I see all the controls in this red, and these are all um, like soft touch, like rubbery feeling. So what I see here in the middle is the on off symbol. So I'm gonna push that. It says I'm at 81%. So this is right out of the box. I have not charged it yet. This has a light symbol. So if I hit that, that LED light is gonna come on. I don't wanna blind the camera, but it's very bright. So I'm gonna hit it again to turn it off because, okay, now it's yeah, blinking and then hit it again, it blinks fast. This might be to get somebody's attention. Like if you're broke down on the side of the road, you could blink that to get somebody's attention. So you cycle through that it's either on steady, blink slow, blink fast, and off is what it looked like to me. Okay, the mode, that's uh, 36 PSI. You're not gonna be able to see it probably on that camera, but there's a symbol of a car. So what that's for is, you know, it's gonna say it, start, it starts out at 36. So if I want my car takes less than 36, I'm gonna hit the minus button and I'm gonna set my target inflation at 35 PSI. Then when I inflate it, it's gonna stop when it gets to 35. When I cycle through my modes, after the car, it goes to, looks like a motorcycle. And again, it starts at 35. You can up or down it with the plus and minus. And a bicycle starts at 45. A lot of bicycle tires go on up to 50 and 60 PSI. You would just adjust it. So the purpose of the mode is just to get your target PSI close and then you adjust it with a plus minus. This is a basketball looks like and it starts out at eight PSI. Now I'm back to car. So you get car, okay. So you have to turn it back on to start the air compressor. You hit the middle button. Um, mode, car, motorcycle, bicycle, basketball. So that's how you do that. So what we'll do is we'll demonstrate inflating. Uh, we'll demonstrate the inflation. I'll do what I can to demonstrate this, but I don't have a dead battery. So I'll just have to figure out what I can do to demonstrate the jump starting ability. But very impressed with the quality out of the box, the packaging that comes with the case. Um, without reading the directions, I was able to walk you through everything just by uh, symbols that I'm familiar with and reading the ports. So I didn't need the instructions. Everything was self-explanatory. You're going to plug the jump starter in here. If you're using it as a jump starter, you're going to plug in the tire inflator at the top if you're using it as a tire inflator. And so that's pretty easy. And then 
if you wanted a different adapter, you've got those. So, very impressed with that. We'll check back with you in a little bit and we'll try it out. All right, first thing we're gonna do is check out the tire inflator. So, we got it in our package, just like it would be when you went to use it. We would open it up and we would take out our unit right here. We would take out the, the tire inflator portion, which is this one. We would thread it in at the, at the top right here. Okay, this is my daughter's Mazda CX-5. These are supposed to be inflated to 34 PSI. I'm gonna turn this on by hitting this middle button right here. Go ahead and hold it in for two seconds. Battery's at 82%. Okay, so put that on there and then close it. I'm gonna go to the mode section M and it has a little picture of a car, it says 36. So I'm gonna use the minus button to put it down to 34. And then I wanna start inflating by hitting the center. When it hits 34, which is our target, it should shut off automatically. Which it did. So now we're gonna disconnect it by doing that. So then, just I wanna see where our battery's at right now. So I'm, okay, it's at 78. So the battery's at 78%. Okay, so that's how the tire inflator portion works. Okay, so for the um, battery charger to jumpstart your car, you would take your main unit here, and over here on the side, this says engine start. Okay, so you just grab that with your thumbnail. These are different. This is a flat edge over here, and this is a circle. So when you look at this, you'll see the flat edge there, so it's going to go like this. I also want to point out from a safety standpoint, when you plug that in, it's going to be flush. But this says that... Um, that it has a low voltage protection, that it has reverse polarity protection or short circuit protection, reverse charging protection. So what that means is it's supposed to not damage your vehicle if somebody hooked these up in the wrong way. But I really don't see how you could do that. You know that the red would go to your positive, the black to your negative. So on this vehicle, the positive is covered by this plastic cover. So we're gonna um, connect the positive to that. These are very nice. They're uh, spring-loaded, with pretty powerful, so it, it hangs on good. You want a good connection of your positive and your negative. We're gonna turn it on now to 78%. All right, so our battery's not dead, so I'm gonna read the directions because there's really nothing we can do to demonstrate that, but we're showing you how you would do it. So it says to connect the red clamp to the positive pole, which we've done, the black clamp to the negative pole of the car battery, which we've done. And then it says within 30 seconds, you go inside and you start your vehicle. And then after successful startup, it says pull the plug of the wire clip from the product, which would be this right here. It wants you to pull that out. And then after you pull that out, um, says remove the clip from the positive and negative terminals of the battery so that's that's the directions of how you would use it to to jump start the vehicle so after you did that you would just remove these and that would be it so then you would make sure that this is off and it is off and you'd be done so um, that's pretty simple 
these jump starters are very convenient because you don't need another vehicle you don't need a large set of jumper cables to do something like that anymore and so this is something that in a small package you would have a jump starter <coughs> and a tire inflator in your vehicle uh, with that much space taken up so please check the the video description for links on how to purchase You'll be able to check current pricing and also any discount codes that are available i will post there so thank you for watching okay so i ended up inflating all four tires they were all down about five psi we started off at 82 percent after inflating all four tires uh, about five psi from about 29 to 34 psi and doing the the battery charger video test um, using some energy for that we were still showing um 59 percent on the battery so from 82 to 59 went down 23 percent now it's down 58 24 percent um which isn't bad because remember we weren't starting with 100 percent charge so that lets you know that for something that you store in your trunk or the back of your vehicle that's gonna get your tire inflated to get you where you need to go to fix a leaky tire that's low on air and to be able to jump start your battery so very nice product very well packaged pretty impressed with it also whenever i try out a new tire inflator that has a preset uh, psi on it with an auto shut off which i really like where you set it to 34 and it shuts itself off i also verify it with a, a tire inflator that i already have so this accu tire just to double check when it said it had 34 psi in it i was able to check it i checked it on all four tires when it stopped and all four were at 34 psi on both this unit and on that so i was able to verify the accuracy of the tire inflation so just wanted to share that with you thank you for watching